defy Hitler. It is time to win this great war. For five long years, we have asked our men to endure the tribulations of war. General Eisenhower. Winston. General Montgomery. Mr. Churchill. What a gathering. If Hitler were to drop a bomb on this little patch, he would destroy the entire high command of our allied forces. How do you approach playing such a massive, iconic, historical figure? Well, it's like how you approach playing King Lear, or how you approach playing a great classical role. You know, it has that dimension to it. So therefore, it's a challenge, but therefore it's also a delight, because you've got the most amazing material to work on. And you kind of, you know, you do a, you assess his personality. You look at the difficulties that he had and you look at the successes he had and you weigh them up and you look at the fact that as a, as a, he was an amazing rhetorical speaker. His great success of the Second World War, his outstanding success, I mean, among many other successes was his broadcasts and he was a, he was paramount as, uh, as far as uh, broadcasting was concerned. But that was also to do with a construct. That was not him. That was his performance. So he, had, he also had a bit of an actor in him. We are here to make the greatest decision of our lives. The invasion of France taking the German army head on. I've seen this before. A quarter of a million men were cut down at Gallipoli. He was also depressive. He suffered from this thing called Black Dog. And also, he consumed an extraordinary amount of alcohol. And he only slept three hours a night. So there you have a picture of a man. And also, as I've pointed out before, all babies look like Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. And Winston Churchill looks like all babies. Mm -hmm. And there's a sort of reason for this. So there's in the man, there's the big child as well, this incredible child. and. I, I was watching a program in, in the States where I live with my sons and it's a program called Family Guy mm -hmm. and there was a character in that where I suddenly thought that's the young Winston Churchill which is Stewie Griffin in Camp Family Guy whose only friend is his dog and he has these great intellectual conversations with his, and with his dog his family don't understand him and I believe that that was Churchill through and through as a child. He was a very lonely little boy. So all of that goes into the mix to create the man you see on the screen. The plans for D-Day have been in place for over a month. I don't want to make the same mistake. The forces are not carrying out your plans. We're taking care of it. You need to let us do the job. I beg your pardon. I am the prime minister of this country, and I shall not be stopped from speaking my mind. How much did you know about Clementine before you started working on this project? Really, very little. So, so that the two fairly recent biographies were extremely helpful to me, um, and also their letters between each other, um, which are are constant. I mean, the, those are the days when you could expect the post to be delivered not once a day, but maybe three times a day. Mm -hmm. So you could write write to each other, and and it was like you know, it's like emails now. Um, so they could keep in in constant contact during the times when they were, many times when they were separated, I mean, from quite early on in the marriage, which must have been incredibly difficult. You know, you, so you think around these things, you look at dates and go, well, when, 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 when did they get to see each other? When did they get to talk? You know, and she was his, his constant support. They had a fantastic friendship. So, um, so all this comes through the script, it comes through um, the research and the biographies and the letters, it comes from a feeling in photographs, um, all that kind of thing. I, I feel like uh, little is known about her because she deliberately kept herself mm. in the background, although she was often, of course, seen out and about with Churchill on his arm, laughing, joshing, you know, being the being the, sort of sort of like royalty almost, sub royalty. He could be a liability as a leader. Would you have us do nothing with the Nazis massing twenty miles off our shores? No. I would have us do more! Whatever happens, we must give them hope. When it's all over, what will I be? You will always be the man who led us through this. Our troops will fight on, and we shall never surrender.